got in an Uber, took it over to Anissa's place. Good morning. And the second she got so, out, the two started. So, again, another shout out to Rory. Get that book out again. I just want to put the book on. Get the book, David. I'm looking for two on just look. So, yesterday, yesterday, we, uh, Rotary last year, Scott Puckett, the, when he, uh, a few months ago, when he left his presidency, he gave people awards, and I was the chair of the Rotary Caring Committee, and so to like acknowledge, appreciate people helping in Rotary, he gave out these books, and it was some, because at the end of each Rotary, he would say a joke. Daphne, to get the book out, just get the book. Please. Darcito will not show the book and he's pretending like he's embarrassed. But Darcito found the book on the bookshelf and he's carrying it to school with him to tell all the jokes and he's been through it and loves it. So Scott Puckett, thank you for the extremely thoughtful um, acknowledgement gift that you gave to many Rotarians. In my home, my 13 year old loves the book and is carrying it around, he's taking it to school and he's read a bunch of it it looks like. So I just love Rotary. So, I have arrived at Western Michigan, and I have some campus stuff, found the building that I need to be in to start the day. I want to thank my friends, in addition, so that there they are buckled up, so they rode with me the whole way, Robin, Brandy, and Dory, buckled in safely in the back seat. They gave me a very nice card and a wad of cash, so today I got a bagel and a coffee. Thanks to Brandy, Robin, and Dory. Thank you, friends. You're here with me, and it's... I got here about 30 minutes early, so I'll go find the building, go to the bathroom. So timing is working out, and it's, like, almost stress-free. It's tricky to find my way around campus, because I couldn't print a map yesterday, because my internet wasn't working at home. But I'm here. So here, here it goes. So I just left day one of orientation. Eight hours of listening is a lot. I'm tired. Um, those briefs I was working on yesterday that I felt like I didn't do, um, I didn't do them right or finish them, but I did work on them enough that I had sufficient knowledge for the conversations. So, so I wasn't unprepared, which is really what I was more worried about than anything. Um, the only thing that I have not done correctly that I should have is I should have already ordered books online. I guess it takes like, they say three to six days, but the reality is a couple weeks. That's to start next week, and I did not order books yet, so whoops. What do you think about that, girls? I don't know. They said they got my back, so we'll figure it out. One dude said they gave me, they gave me a PDF book immediately. I don't know. There's a lot to tick in. I always um, appreciate like when you first are learning about stuff, like how it's just overwhelming the quantity of diverse stuff. And then um, knowing like six months, a year, two years, I'll look back at this day and like it'll all just be common knowledge. So I look forward to, to that time when it's not all new and overwhelming. We ate lunch in the cafeteria that was like just fine nothing fancy and then um, we we're supposed to get some school IDs and that did not work out 
I don't know. I just, like, I walked away from this realizing I have got a crap load of stuff to do. So, I feel In like... In 2.1 miles, take a slight left turn to merge onto US 1. So, this story will be funny to my fellow practitioners of restorative justice today. And uh, um, people were fired up about restorative justice. And so... The one of the like the dean of the law program says, "Oh, we have a teen court that's restorative justice." And I said, "Oh no, teen court's not restorative justice." And he said, "No, ours is." And I said, "Well, well, to actual practitioners, the nature of teen court isn't restorative justice because it's not actually true to the principles." And then it stopped and got awkward. So like I just like interrupted and started arguing with. I didn't interrupt him, but I started arguing like with the dean of the law school. But I also felt like you're just wrong. Like teen court's not restorative justice. No matter how you do teen court, it's not restorative justice. You can do other stuff like a circle and that's restorative justice, but actual teen court's not. So, whoops, a little, uh, he didn't make eye contact with me for the rest of the day. Maybe it was just coincidental, but there's only nine of us. So I think that he might not like me. So we need, we need uh, 68 more guests, so subscri subscribers, to follow this vlog, and then... Do you have 40 something? No, I have 32, so I need 68. Um, I have Serenity walking right beside me, but no one can see her. You don't even know how amazing awesome she is. She's probably going to do like a sing-dance routine when I get to my 100th subscriber. So you got to get your friends to subscribe. Everyone needs to subscribe to this and um, like the stuff and blah, blah, blah. Also feel free to, um, in the comments down below, ask me questions or just let me know if there's things you want to know about or whatever. So the first day of orientation is done. Uh, we're going on a quick jog, Serenity and I, and then having dinner with the fam, which is Serenity, Dave, and my mom and I. So yay to some exercise.